shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Out of the way. Okay, I gotta say, if nothing else, I love the music in this game. Oh God, yes. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! I can tell, because the music's different. Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself! Well, it looks like Yosuke's shadow has decided to attack us. And now the general strategy in this one, it's a pr pretty simple fight. You Zeo when you get the chance. Yeah. Every time that um, Shadow Yosuke guards, you guard. Every time he charges, you Zeo on your first turn and guard on your second. Soda. Zeo takes HP though, I think. No, Zeo takes SP. Cleave takes it. HP. Okay. It's guarding its weak point. I don't think there's anything we can do. I mean, you could smack it, I guess, but it's next turn he does that. So as long your as you best... guard, your weaknesses are completely covered, so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Okay, and then when he charges, you can use Zeo on your first turn, guard on the next. Soda. So at least you get some damage then. That's not gonna work! I don't know, it's doing pretty good so far. I can't help it. <laughs> pretty much keep this up and you should never have to use any of that medicine stuff. Yeah, though, don't be afraid to, though, if things get, uh, turned for the worse. This is an Atlas game. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! Get out of my sight! Yeah, this is a Shin Megami Tensei <laughs> game. They're not exactly known for being nice to you. Soda. In fact, you're not really using those medicines for anything else. You might as well That's use them, work. but... You shouldn't need to. Now, given some of the options here on the menu, we have skill, which uses your own skills, your persona skills, fun yeah. stuff. The persona option we can't really use yet. We'll uh, talk more about that later. The items, self-explanatory yeah. escape. Well, we're not ready for this battle. Analysis. Tell That'll us, tell you a little bit about the enemy. Yeah, at we'll least tell you the weaknesses that you got. Tactics, well, that's where we get teammates, and guard is what we're doing right now. Don't underestimate me! Ooh, he's starting to get winded now. Starting to bring him down. Should be the last round here. That'll do her. You did it, Sensei. Yay, our persona has a has leveled up. Stay in Sona. Per Stan. Per Per and. Akunda! You okay there, buddy? I... I... I think you took a nap there. Yosuke, are you okay? Oh no, the kegs are knocked over. I'll help you. <laughs> yeah. They're too heavy to pick up as is. We'll have to empty them first. <laughs> you, you're 
not me. Please don't say that. That's yeah. what happened last time. Yeah, you said that last time, and that then we had a stupid boss fight. You, Yosuke. I don't think I can re actually, you know, have the HP and SP that I need this time around. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Somebody smack him. Mm -hmm. What should we say to him? Hmm. Like you have to be brave. Hmm. I don't know. I'm got. I'm leaning towards the first one myself. Because he's still himself. This doesn't change who he is. Yes, it's but he has just... to be brave to face his other self. Yeah. I don't know. You have to be brave, man. Brave. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. Oh, yes, it does. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Yosuke has a stand Sona. This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Hmm. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. Disturbing. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. Very disturbing. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. If nothing else, we've learned something today. Yep. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. Sounds logical. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Hmm. I want to say this one. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I'm leaning towards. This world killed them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed Poor people guy. here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. 
the fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You are lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Well, mostly us, but... Damn yeah. it! Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. That's Yosuke. just a cruel death there. Yeah, really. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. I mean, no shadows attacked stuck, them. Stuck here with someone harping on you about your other what, self. About what you yeah. hate about yourself. Berating you and pulling you down for a they couple of days us, until you just. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. To, uh, they turn around might and kill see you. people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous. But we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Hooray. That's always good. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Sounds right to me. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, hey, can I ask something, too? Sure, buddy. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Uh, well, when you see, when two mascots love each other <laughs> a lot, they do you a don't special even know where you hug, came from? and then How Teddy we know? Born. I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Well, mm. Will you guys come back here? Sure. We made a promise. You keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Trying right. to be nice, but okay. no, you had you to go out. there. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. Cool. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. TV at Junez. Can I go in the TV next to the TV that we you came in here? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. Shot you down. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then... You'd be doomed. 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 Got it? Got it. Well, pretty much. Sarai, Sarai. All right, can you show us the way out? Sarai, 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 Sarai. Roger that. One exit coming right up. We have to just tap our feet, huh? Boom, boom. <gasps> Three TVs. Cool. Wow. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Hey, is there anybody over here? Ah! Yeah, there's people over here. <laughs> he later went to the insan insanity ward. Okay, go, go, go. Swish. Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little. Ugh! We were waiting to check, no! How do we get out through those TVs? Do we just like walk through the screens like before? Uh, Teddy pushes us. <laughs> and then it all works out in the end. Yes. Now shut up. Ah, oh, keys again! Why do I keep keeping them in the back pocket? You, you guys came back! <laughs> Well, she sounds a little worried. Oh, gee, we've been in there for a while. Huh? She, eh? Whoa, what's with that face? And the lifeline was cut, so... Yeah. Ow. Ow! The nerve of you guys! You are such morons! I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off, and I had no idea 
what to do. At least she didn't kick anybody in the balls this time. Yeah. I was so worried. I mean, scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! You wouldn't punch a guy with glasses now, would you? <laughs> oh. I, I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Oh, our, maybe? Our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Maybe? Understatement there, Yosuke. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Oh, well, that's good. Hmm. Well, see you in the morning. Guess you kinda sleep better when you face yourself. That's gotta be a big weight off your shoulders. Yeah. Mm hmm? Oh, hey, it's Yukiko. She's in a kimono. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Mm, I like it here. I like the rustic style. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. Not when you're a blank slate. I've never been out of Inaba. Inaba. So I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh. Are you getting along with Chie? Kinda. I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> well, she didn't throw a rope at us or kick us in the ball so far, so that's pluses right there. I'm glad to hear that. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. School's very important for you. Don't do that. With that homeroom teacher? Oh, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Yeah. <laughs> well, still, it's bad for you. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um... I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> she even has that old-style umbrella. Hmm. I always like those umbrellas. The, the kind of paper ones? Yeah. Dad's late. Again. Yep. <laughs> it's not easy being a police officer now, is it? Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Inaba. Heard about that one earlier. Yep. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. That's how we see it. Yep. The coroner's report has established Ms. Konishi's time person, of death though. at around 1 a.m. last night. Hmm, that was just a bit after midnight. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Can do. Hell yeah. Really? <laughs> Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. I thought radium was a bad thing. I don't know. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Oh dear. Well, that's some pressure you don't need. Hmm, I wonder if that sentence is important. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. 
Oh, this is Excuse that same me? jackass re reporter, isn't it? Uh. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Yeah. Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Somebody fire this reporter. <laughs> really? Huh? No. Um. Further and further off subject. So what do you think about that new movie? Would you like to go out on, uh, out on a date with me? Dude. She's like 17. This is boring. This is disturbing. <laughs> Oh, I need to do the dishes. Still want me to help? I gotta stay in Sona to help now. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We have a menu button now. Kind of like this. Yay. Ooh, we got monies. But... This recording has been going on for a little while now, so I think it's just about time we call it a day. Alright, so Saki is Saki Konishi has unfortunately passed away. She's now connected to the murders in the area. And now we have, now, we and Sosuke have a Stan Sona. Yosuke. Did I say Yosuke? You said Sosuke. Hey, shut up! <laughs> Window! Anyway, what will happen in the next adventure of... Persona 4, The Mysterious Death of Inaba. Until next time, everyone.